welcome to the next episode here. Um, slight problem, we did lose some footage. And you haven't missed enough that I thought it was worth going back to uh, re-record. You've missed us walking in here and fireballing a bunch of vampires. Maybe uh, 15 minutes worth of that. Immortal Blood by Anonymous. The moons and stars were hidden from sight, making that particular quiet night especially dark. The town guard had to carry the torches to make their rounds, but the man who came to call at my chapel carried no light with him. I came to learn that Morvarth Pickwine could see in the dark almost as well as the light, an excellent talent considering its interests were exclusively nocturnal. One of my acolytes brought him to me, and from the look of him, I at first thought he was in need of healing. He was pale to the point of opalescence with a face that looked like it had um, once been handsome before some unspeakable suffering. The dark circles under his eyes bespoke exhaustion, but the eyes themselves were alert, intense, almost insane. He quickly dismissed my notion that he himself was ill, though he did want to discuss a specific disease. Vampirism, he said, and he paused at my quizzical look. I was told that you were someone I should seek out for help understanding it. Who told you that? I asked with a smile. Tasania Gray. I immediately remembered her, a brave, beautiful knight who had needed my assistance separating fact from fiction on the subject of the vampire. It had been two years and I had never heard whether my advice had proved effective. You've spoken to her? How is her ladyship? I asked. Dead, Morvath replied coldly, and then responding to my shock, he added perhaps to soften the blow. She said your advice was invaluable, at least for the one vampire, but when last I talked to her, she was tracking another, and it killed her. Then the advice I gave her was not enough, I sighed. Why do you think it would be enough for you? I was a teacher once myself, years ago, he said. Not a university, a, a trainer in a fighter's guild, but I know that if a student doesn't ask the right questions, the teacher cannot be responsible for his failure. I intend to ask you the right questions. And that he did. For hours... Okay, how long is this? Yeah, I'm not going to make you sit for all that, folks. I have read that book before, and it is one of my favourite reads in all of Skyrim. But I'm not going to make you sit through all that. Okay, we're going to... um. I think we're just going to do some random alchemy here. Just shove a bunch of random things together. And uh, see what we come out with. Just to, uh, we can sell these when we get to the college. Assuming we actually make some. Oh, jeez. Ah. Throw a bunch of those out. Right, folks, this is how we learn. We do have a couple of sure thing recipes, but... Oh, there we are. Okay, so we've increased our alchemy up to 21. That's quite nice. Oh, nice big chest here at the end as well. Dwarven... Ooh. Is everyone ready to have their uh, ears blown out? A new hand touches the beacon. What? Listen, hear me and obey. I, A foul okay. darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Don't really see how that's my problem. I lose my footing in a place like this. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okay, so Mount Kilcreeth is uh, not too far from us, I don't believe, on the world map. Um, so yeah, like like I said on the um, on the mist footage, the stuff that uh, kind of died. I took shelter from the cold in this cave because I think we're still yeah we're still cold. Ooh.
Do we have any portions of cure disease? No. And we kind of contracted vampirism. These vampires are getting to be an issue. We need to find a temple and pray this vampirism away. Hopefully our horse is outside and we can move along quickly. Because when we uh, when we woke up, we woke up in the um Oh no. Did we just Okay no, we're not actually a vampire yet. So I'm not sure how difficult it is to cure vampirism. I know once it goes past this sanguine vampiris or whatever it is, the disease, that uh, it's not just a, a simple matter anymore. A cave, dark, dangerous. Agreed. A horse missing. Paid for. So we have a town this way. Hopefully they have some kind of shrine. Because if they don't, eventually we're going to have to sleep. And when we do, vampirism will happen. And well, we're, we're going to have to deal with that. Now, uh, pretty much every town has a shrine to somebody. I think uh, every major city has at least one small shrine to Debella. I think it's Debella, the one who is uh, like the god of funeral rites. So we'll uh, explore our way around the town. That is Nern Roots. We're going to pick it up just to shut it up. Yes? I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. I have a need of a wizard. Um, I have a need of a shrine first, but a wizard would be nice too. Good. Um, shrine. Shrine. Please. Please. Okay. It's looking like the shrine might not be in the Yarl's longhouse. We'll go check the town. I was really hoping we'd have uh, made a portion of cure disease, but apparently not gonna double check just in case I missed it somehow. Heard they're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Rick. Yeah. Uh, sounds peachy. Now I don't know that Matthias actually knows that he has vampirism though. And this could take the character in an interesting direction, because as we've already seen, he does value his life and his opinions above others. He was willing to kill a Synod mage just because he didn't value the Synod and thought of them as, you know, puppets. What's this? Alchemist shop? Thaumaturge's hut. If they have a portion of cure disease. You know what? I think. I think at this point we're willing to uh, do that. And I hope. Okay, good. That did get rid of our, uh, our vampirism. We nearly, nearly had some uh, interesting developments there, folks. I was considering just uh, letting that happen. Hopefully when we wake up in the morning, our, our horse has found its way to us. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help. Welcome to the Moor site. If you need anything, I'll be right. I would like Curtis, to rent a room from you. It's yours for a day. Which, which one is room. it? Right this way. Until next time. Mm, okay. At least it's better than when they sing. Oh, 
How I miss bed sheets. There ain't much to off. Let me know if there's any. So we're gonna sleep for a good like ten hours. Get up nice and bright and early. Probably spend what little money we yeah. have on food. Oh, start convenient horses. Okay. Mount up your Herbie. He's outside somewhere. Hopefully. We'll have a soup. I'll have two of those. Hopefully that'll be enough to uh, sit our breakfast. I don't know what Stenvall had. He seems to get up before we do. Wow, a lot of people stay in this inn. Unless they just come Hi. for breakfast. Are you just whistling that? That is a talent, friend. Morthal used Morthal used to be... You ask me, we be better off without that wizard in town. We can agree to disagree there, friend. Mm -hmm. So where is uh Herbie? Oh, he's all the way over there. That's where we froze. Uh that's where we woke up. And as we started to walk away, we pretty much instantly started to freeze again. So we hid, uh, we headed there, couldn't rest in there. That was just an outside thing. So we hid in there and then walked to Marthal. He's all right. So I guess we take the southern road out of town and then run along the road until we get to our horse again. Shouldn't take us too long. A chill mists roll across the marshlands. Well, that's unfortunate. Because apparently we are a tiny, tiny baby man. And we can't handle the cold very well. There's that spider that we decided we wanted nothing to do with the first time. And I think we're going to stand by that assessment. We still want nothing to do with that spider. Unfortunately, um, with Marfall being a, um, a small town, you can't actually rent a carriage there. They don't have any, uh, they don't have enough people to attract that kind of business, apparently. I do like that this convenient horse has gave us a, uh, a place to find a horse from, though. That's very nice. Apparently the horse doesn't just, uh, slowly make its way to you. Which I think in, uh, in certain Elder Scrolls games they have done. I'm not sure if that was a mod. But the horse would essentially just walk at you constantly, forever. Whenever you were on the over map. So if you spent a night in an inn, they would often catch up. But it looks like that's not the case with this guy. Hello, friends. You're heading in the wrong direction. We run into those guys a lot. Like, I don't know what wedding it is they're going to, but... I think they're late at this point. You think, Stan? Good talk, buddy. You feel chilly. Okay, that's not too bad. We're only just getting the chilly now. And we do obviously have our, uh, our fox skin that we can cast. We should be... Sorry, I should be uh, much more proactive with that. I let that drop too often. Don't think we want to be heading up into uh, Draugr-filled ruins today. We want to be making our way back to uh, Winterhold. And we are nearly at our uh, horse, which is very nice. I don't think we lost the, f the footage of uh, Herbie. I'm not entirely sure how much we lost. Essentially, one of my uh, one of my recordings just didn't quite make it. Herbie, good buddy. I think I left him at the top of this hill. We didn't actually make it into this room. We froze on the outside of it. And I think we still definitely want to explore it and try and get some soul gems. And we are very cold, so we're going to try and get in there again. Yeah, we left our horse on top of a hill. And it... That's right. I... Okay. Harvest ingredients well mounted. Okay, I. That is. Alright then. 
I did not know that's what that mod did. I haven't actually used the uh, Convenient Horses on Skyrim Special Edition. I had a mod for horses on the regular game, which I think was called Convenient Horses. But from what I've heard, that mod and this mod are completely different. Like, they rebuilt it from the ground up for Special Edition instead of porting it over. Okay, we are freezing. There is a fire here that we're going to stand by. There's our doorway in, it looks like. Is this fire actually helping us at all, or...? There we are. We can't seem to get any warmer, but we did warm up enough that we can jog vaguely towards that entrance. Once we get inside, things should be a bit better for us. And as with all Dwemer Ruins, this place is entirely impossible to pronounce. Alright, so we got uh, busted Dwemer stuff straight away, which means that maybe these guys have been in here specifically for this stuff. And we are warming up. I did not ask you, Stenboy. Your lack of magic tolerance is... Yeah, considering you travel with a mage, buddy, you're not very tolerant of magic. Ha! Yeah, um, search band outlaw by touching his shield will take his gold. Okay, so they're inside too. We do have to uh, keep an eye out for that. I see that. Taproot. That's quite rare. And we will take your apples because you people don't deserve nice things. Let's see, I think we're just... Oh no, we are still very cold. And we are hungry too, so we'll quickly have some food. Uh, an apple dumpling. Somehow that made our bowls do more. And I think we're going to eat those two green apples too. And we will take the leg of roast goat. No, so uh, definitely been in here killing their way through machines, which is honestly impressive for bandits. There's still not going to be any kind of match for us, though. Create a soul gem. Oh, that's valuable. Okay, I see an just down there. Stand by, you know that intolerance of magic? Wait, oh there you are. Oh. Well. That didn't go well for you, buddy. Went well for you. How you feeling? You seem okay. Armor seems to be holding up pretty well. You're welcome, by the way. Hmm. Shame we already have some better stuff for uh, Stenvar. That looks actually quite nice. Is that the fur helmet? Those things are amazing. Not having any of that today, thank you. Well, these guys really don't know where the good stuff is. Okay, so, this is somebody's room. Bunch of uh, Dwemer stuff. Water skins, thank you. Ruined book. Don't know why we just picked up a ruined book, but we have it now. It's a friend, we're keeping it. Hopefully, this isn't Mazulfed levels of insanely large. Ah. Yes, 
I'm your biggest problem right now. Actually, I'm kind of flattered that you think so. We'll let the Dwarven Spheres deal with those guys, and then we'll deal with the Spheres in a moment. And we'll take those and give them to the Stenlar, along with a bow at some point. Hi, Dwarven Sphere. We're just going to wait for you over here, where you have to run towards us. It already ended. I appreciate your zeal, but we, we kind of dealt with that already. See, I'm kind of jealous of those Khajiit with their damn fur. Must be nice to have a built-in court. Uh, that would be the fun in not getting dead. Now, come carry some things for me. You've been a good friend to me. Sure, feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Not quite. Um, you are getting something valuable, though. Getting, like, all my crafting supplies. Okay, apparently you're uh, just about loaded up already. Let's Probably go. because I have you in a full set of dwarven armor, I guess. Nice, there's a, a greater soul gem. Once we find our way back to a blacksmith and upgrade this armor to superior, we can get more regen out of it. Stenvar, buddy. You need to you need to work on the whole being close to me thing. Scrap metal. I'm not entirely sure that we need more drummer ingots, but uh, we can make some valuable stuff to trade with it. Like, we definitely don't need it for us. But we can make, uh, we can make valuable stuff with this, so it's worth. Further in we go, I guess. Oh boy. Yeah. Teamwork. Definitely always happy to take more soul gems, although we still don't actually have a soul trap spell, so we need to work on that at some point. long, but... Okay. Stanvar, are you awake yet? Aha! Oh, hi, Stanvar. Well then, I guess we uh, continue on. Of course, we do have a, a woodcutter's axe and a pickaxe if we ever get really desperate enough to uh, wield those weapons. But I think with our current magic regen, I think we're pretty okay. 
That dual casting is still expensive though. Been killing them pretty effectively, guys, so. You know, I think we're doing okay. Is that. Ooh. Oh, master. We'll go down to 10 picks again and then stop. Last attempt. Yeah, well, we're not going to be able to bother with that then. Save our lockpicks in case we find doors and things that are more easily accessible. Oh. Oh, this goes deeper. Well, so much for our quick journey down the rabbit hole. Oh, we're always looking for more soul gems. Oh, that's, that's Falmer. That's, that's not cool. Oh, boy. Nope. Hi. This guy has a sword, so we'll, uh, we'll let him close some distance while we regen our magic. Lovely. Now, I think I heard one of the chorus or chorus, whatever it is you would like to call them just now. That's, that's, wow. I agree. This place is huge. I think we might be here a little while. Then, just as a as a heads up, hope we brought some food. Is that a giant crossbow? Nope. Thought you killed that already, buddy. couple of properties these eggs have, so we'll take these for a little bit more alchemy. Nope, we don't really care about that though. Chest. Cool. Nice ring. Okay. There's a chest over there too. but I can't see a way to get to it, which is just mean, really. In some of the, uh... That, that was not cool. That was, that was... They basically clogged up the pipe that the spiders used. Huh. I'm not okay with that. Nope. That is... That is not okay. Now, we may have to do a, a little bit of swimming here, buddy, by the looks of it. I see you over there. Having none of your shit. Oh! Help, help, help. We are good at this. It's okay, stand by, I got him. He's, uh... Okay, let's, let's maybe just open this door. Okay, that goes deeper, so we'll uh, search this hut over here, see if they're hiding any goodies inside. 
horse eggs. Looks like that's about it. Let's get some healing done. Not too good at this yet. Okay. Let's see what we have down here. Be dealing with that today, thank you. We'll be dealing with that today, though. Okay, let's uh, continue down, see where we end up. Okay. We've got a kill count without a kill again there, but good old standby to the rescue. Take your A or two, because I don't like you very much. Goes even deeper. Wow, this is. Ready, standby? Oh wow, how did we just go from full to nothing there? I must have been paying very much attention to my health. Luckily we just saved it, so it's not too much lost progress. Yeah, it's good looking out buddy. down. Get both of his ears. And we'll take our level up here. And go for Magicka again. Just really starting to get that up there, which is nice. So do we, we don't really go any further up here. It requires level 50, 60. We don't do much conjuration illusion. Let's see, what what do we get for speech? Cell ten uh, yeah, we'll go for we'll go for a bit of speech. We have been we have been at that a little while, I guess. Yeah. You didn't have a good time. Onwards we go. We do have a full set of ringmail armor on us from um, a vampire master. I think we're just going to drop it. it. It might actually be useful to have in terms of uh, protection. But for the carry weight for now, I think we uh, could make better use of it. At times like this, I miss the... Uh, an arrow of my other character with his zoom. He is just a regular archer, he doesn't do stealth though, so that's it. Oh. Just keep throwing fireballs here and hiding behind Stenbar. One thing he is very good at is just getting punched for us. Looks like we're still not done exploring down here, this place is massive. I think uh, we might be spending an episode or two down here. Okay, buddy, off we go. Let's check up here. Oh, regrets.
so they're, uh, they still hurt. Still can't discount these guys as being, uh, weak. What does this do? Probably, but I thought you didn't like them very much. Because they're magic and they don't bleed. Awesome. Let's see what we have in here. File my helmet, I don't think we care about that. We care about that enchantment, definitely. Let's see what's over this side. We have. Falma armor and boots and helmet. Okay, now we care a little bit. We're going to put that on some kind of display when we build a house eventually. It's the first time I've actually seen a full set of collectible Falma armor. Is it? It's heavy. I don't think it's very good. It's, uh, it's rare, I guess, so we'll take it. Oh, hell no. Go on, Stanwell, buddy. You got this. Nice. Any more chests in here? Cool water feature. Still working after, like, I don't know, a couple thousand years, maybe a couple hundred years. I don't know how long it's been since the armor disappeared. I think it's been a fair while. Oh, yes. I like this room. Oh, I don't like that though. Let's, uh, let's take a look in our inventory, see what we have. Okay. Uh, what weight are we at? We need to lose 25 weight. I think we're just going to go ahead and drop one of the two armor metals. We have. A considerable amount of the ingots already, so I think that's fine. Okay, looks like we're coming towards the end of something here, judging on the fact there is strategically placed bodies. The the clear sign from Bethesda to uh, get your shit in order. Mizens shall have their their gatehouse. Okay, now, slightly out of character knowledge, that is a Dwarven Centurion that's about to wake up because he's placed in the thing, and if we walk towards him, we're just going to give him an easier shot at us, so I think we're going to spend half a second on prep work here. Going to our potions, do we have anything of uh, regeneration to throw out? No, not really. We are going to drink a Resist Frost. Take that now as well. We're going to give our uh, magic just a sec here to regen. And then we're just going to start throwing fireballs at that guy. And just do as much damage straight out the gate as we can. Chug a bunch of potions and do it again. Because these guys... Yeah. These guys are not to be messed around with. Denvar, please. Yeah, see, instant death. So I think um, we are still going to attempt this again. But we're going to try it slightly differently. We're going to try and get somewhere where we can take cover from him, like up here. I don't know what Stenvar is fighting, looks like a sphere. Meanwhile, we are going to try our best to not get splattered. 
give these things the run around as best we can. Now I think we're pretty boned. We need to get back past this guy and kill... Woo. Now we run. Just keep running, keep running. Okay, we keep this thing at range. Okay, well, I thought we had a bit more range on that thing than we did there. We are going to continue to try this. Um, you know, we don't use very often, but we really should be using a little bit more of. Uh, can we only place one of these? Yes. Okay. So we want to replace that just in front of those stairs. Um, I'm not sure where the sphere came from, but that kind of uh, got in Stenvar's way. We're going to wait for our magic to be full again, throw a bunch more uh, double shots down at that guy. And then I guess we're going to head up the stairs. Let's, uh... Huh. That is a terrible Magicka Potion. That's probably one of the ones I made that has, like, counteracting effects. Um... And if we go into our magic here, I think we are going to be, uh... I think we're just going to be making use of some lower level magic to allow us to just spam it a bit more. Nope. Uh, we may be out of our depth here, folks. We may just not be able to do this. We only get one of those fire runes, and it didn't seem to do much. If we can deal with the sphere, before we have to deal with that, we might be able to escape at least. What do we have here? Let's pull this lever. Don't know that that did anything particularly useful. Okay. And now we may be able to deal with the Centurion just by hiding from him. Allowing our damage over times to do what they do. And just staying as far away from it as possible. If uh, Stenvar keeps waking back up, keeping him busy. We may be able to get quite a few of those damage over times out. Okay, now we know this thing has really good range on its attacks. We're going to quick save here, which might be a bad idea, but we're going to let our Magicka regen. That steam attack does so much damage. He's uh, programmed too badly to... Oh. I was hoping the Dwemer didn't have him figure out terrain. Attaboy, Sten. Do I have any more magic potions? Yep, got one. Oh boy. Run, 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 run. Oh. Nearly have us. Nice finish, buddy.
Now we uh, we were actually risking Stenvar's life there. Like you, they can die on uh, the harder difficulties. I have lost followers once or twice. It is very difficult to actually have them die though. Oh well then, let's uh, take a look around. I'm guessing what, what do you have here? Activate dwarven mechanism. You lack the required item. Okay. I guess that's a quest item maybe. Now we did pull a lever over this way, which opened up this thing here. I'm guessing this is the, uh... Okay, nothing particularly amazing in here. But we only came in here to warm up, so I think we've done okay from that. And this should take us back to the surface. There we are. Hopefully it's a nice day on the surface. We haven't been there in a, in a, I don't know, probably a day, I'm guessing. And if it is night time, we may have to just uh, spend the night in the ruin. Nope, it is still day. I think we are a little bit hungry, so we're going to um, eat just like... Half a block of cheese, as you do when you're hungry. And then uh, wash it down with some mead. We feel completely warm. That's new. That's a new feeling for us. Uh, while we'll remember, we are going to fox skin ourselves. Just to keep our, uh, our heat in. <clears throat> And we definitely want to be retrieving our uh, horse. Paid a lot of good money there for uh, Hervey. I think we just left him out the front here. There he is. Hi, buddy. Let's ride. Hopefully, he can get us up to uh, up to the college in good time. Gonna go cross country a bit. We are still going to have to save up and get uh, Stenvara's own horse. But we did get him some nice armor, so we accomplished at least one of our main objectives for him. That armor should do him for quite a while. Now hopefully our horse can outrun wolves. He is apparently very stealthy, in fact silent as a horse. Okay, more wolves. Now, like I say, we're just going to try and outrun them. Hopefully we can. I don't think we uh, we want to be bothering too much with just random wolves on the side of the road. Uh, just riding past a bunch of things we could be interacting with here, but we have a goal and we're going to try and stick to it. Looks like we found a road too, which is quite nice. Well, as much as what passes for a road in this end of Skyrim. Looks like a fox skin is uh, getting ready to wear off. Some kind of lighthouse there. Dead horse. Yeah, we probably don't want anything to do with that then. Some more uh, iced over ruins. We may take a look at that, but we'll do it after we've been to the college again. We're definitely feeling the benefits of those um, endurance perk increases. Looks like that is a mammoth throws frozen in the ice. I have no idea if that's a bug or a feature. I'm going to go with feature. Bunch of uh, Arctic foxes and wolves up here. 
bunch of regular wolves up here. Hope you're not a bandit, because I will murder the ever-loving... Oh, this is uh, Sarthal. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the college. Of course, we do have the big doom bauble waiting for us. That's why we're heading back home. And then I guess we're going to get sent to Labyrinthian ourselves. Is that a troll up there? You know, we don't want to be dealing with that. We're nearly back at the college. Here we are, back in town. We'll ride our... Uh Ride a horse right up to the main gate. Or not. I think that's actually going to slow us down at this point. You wait here, Herbie. We are warming up. I think the college is actually set to be a hot zone in the, uh, the Frostfall mod. Just to stop people freezing to death while walking from their class to their bedroom. Now then. Hopefully. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. You know, you sound snooty and like you think it should be you, but I don't necessarily disagree that the college needs new leadership. We have met the Archmage. He is Well, I don't think he's all there, if we're being honest. Every time we speak to him he says the same line. Oh. So Doom Bauble. We're doing this. I don't, I don't think that's helping. I don't know what he's doing, but he won't get away with it. Uh, what's going on? Arcano. He's in there doing something. We don't know what. We're trying to get in now. Okay. We'll have his head for this. I assure you. Good. Help take this down, will you? We're throwing everything we can at it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna get ourselves a bound sword out. And we're gonna go with sparks. Oh. Stand bar. You ready for this? Um. Are you alright? Can you walk? Are I we... need you on your feet. We're in trouble here. I think I'm okay. Ancano is doing something with that thing, the eye. We can't stop him. I haven't seen Savo since the explosion. He must have been blown clear and he may be injured. I need you to find the Archmage and I need you to do it quickly. Get moving. What happened exactly? I'll be fine. I just need a minute to catch my breath. Find Savos. Okay. I mean, I don't like his chances, but okay. Um, for real, I like. I don't think he's in here. Go check his quarters, I guess. Maybe he ran up there to get cool items. Sabos, you okay, buddy? Oh, do we actually get a nah, find the archmage? No, he is downstairs somewhere. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, he's been blown out the door. That's impressive. Oh. Uh, Arcano is doing something with the eye. By the nine, is he responsible for this? The Archmage? Dead? There's more. Something's happened to Winterhold. It must be whatever Ancano did. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. So, but protect the town of Winterhold. Who? Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Let's go. What's going on? What happened in there? Okay, um, something went wrong. Wind holds in danger. Let's go it deal with us. in danger? Take a look. I don't think there's much question. Let's get down there. We have to do something. Come on, Arnold. Let's go. We have to? They'd never lift a finger to help us. Yeah, this is our fault, douche. You stay here, Heavy. Oh. What's a hitbox? There we are. You guys go on. You got that. Herbie, what are you doing? Herbie, please. Okay, good. Okay, so our sword, not doing great things for us here. Can you... Yeah, please don't hold back. Yeah, oh, okay, nice, there's one gone. One of ten. Hopefully these guys are gonna do some of the stand bar. Okay, he's just down. Thought we lost him there. There goes the second. Oh, did just kind of light her on fire a little bit. Um, are you gonna... Yeah, let's just hide behind these guys. They seem to have more potent magic than we do, having been here longer. Okay, another one down. We're getting there, guys. We're doing it. Let's go. Oh, we kind of just hit that guy in the noggin with a fireball. I have never thought that actually. You're really not that attractive. Nearly there. I, I don't see what we're hunting here. Okay, one more up this way. This one seems to have run off up the hill a little ways. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, sorry buddy. Oh. 
knowledge and let them know what's going on. Good job you didn't hit that chicken. You'd have the whole town hating you. Okay. <sighs> oh yeah, wolves. That's sure. Herbie, what? That wasn't on purpose, dude. But you, you have to. Do How did you find a wolf up here, buddy? Just getting into all kinds of trouble, aren't you? Can I? Can I squeeze past there? You're supposed to be convenient. Well, it looks like they've moved the Archmage's body. Let's go see what Oncarno is up to. Everything out there, all right. Uh, Winterhold's okay for now. Wish I could say the same for us. Tolkdir and I can try and keep this contained. You need to get your hands on the staff of Magnus now. Then I'm off to Labyrinthian. What? Are you? Are you sure? The staff is there. That can't be a coincidence. Why not? What coincidence? Savos. Before. Before he died. He. He gave me something just a little while ago. He told me it was from Labyrinthian and that I would know what to do with it when the time came. I think... I think he meant this for you, then. I'm not sure why, but there was something very personal about it for him. I think you should okay. take this amulet. It belonged to Savos, but I think it would do you the most good now. What, did you just pilfer it take off his it body? Get out of here. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings the whole college down around us. Okay. And I guess next time we head off to out to Labyrinthian to deal with You were fine. You just wanted to sit down, you lazy good for nothing. What happens to the rest of Skyrim? You know, we'll deal with that later. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you in the next one.